Hello friends. Today we are going to learn a new module that is AS standard cycles. So first before learning the AS standard cycles you need to know that what are the types of engines that are that we are going to study here. These are the two types of engines that we are going to study here. Number 1 you can see is known as spark ignition or SI engine. As the name suggests, it needs a spark plug that I have drawn here. A spark plug is needed by this engine to ignite the fuel. Here is the inlet valve IV, here is the spark plug and here is the outlet valve OV. Here is the piston, this is the internal volume of the cylinder. From here the inlet fuel comes and it is ignited by the spark plug and then after ignition the combustion product get get exhausted from the outlet valve and this in, in type of engine is known as the spark ignition or SI type of engine the common very common example is the petrol engine that we use in our daily life second type of engine is known as the compression ignition or CI engine here the here is the fuel valve is present in case of spark plug here the spark plug is not needed as inlet air comes from here and the fuel is injected from here the air and fuel get mixed and by due to compression as the name suggests the ignition takes place and similarly the uh, outer valve outlet valve helps in exhaustion of the uh, combustion product a very common example of this type of engine is the diesel engine that we use in our daily life. So as you all can see the difference between the spark ignition SI engine or and compression ignition CI engine is that the here is a spark plug present and inlet air and fuel mixture enters from here. But here the spark plug is not present here from here in the inlet valve the air enters and the fuel is injected from here and they get mixed. Now, after seeing the difference between CI and SI engines, we are going to learn some engine terminology. So friends, here are the engine terminology. As you can see, this may be the spark plug or the fuel injector. This is the inlet valve and this is the outlet valve in an engine. This is the piston. I have drawn. This is the piston. And this red line these two red lines are known as the top dead center TDC and the bottom dead center BDC. The top dead center is the extreme line to which the piston can compress and the bottom dead center is the vice versa that is to which the piston can extend. The maximum length between the top dead center and the bottom dead center is known as the stroke length. Now if we calculate the volume between the TDC and the BDC, that volume is known as the stroke volume. So this is known as the stroke volume as I have already said. You have already heard 125cc or 200cc bikes and automobiles. So this stroke volume is measured in cc. Where cc means cubic centimeter. So friends, after knowing the different kinds of engines and the engine terminologies, let us now see the two types of air standard cycles. Number one, auto cycle. Let us now understand the processes of an auto cycle and the graphs that is the PV diagram that is the pressure and volume diagram and the TS diagram that is the temperature and entropy diagram. So here as I have marked the process 0 to process 1 is known as the intake process. The process 1 to 2 is known as the expansion process that is adiabatic process. The process 2 to 3 is the heat addition or the combustion process. 
the process 3 to 4 is known as the compression process so friends let us now study the first type of air standard cycles that is the auto cycle as you can see I have written down the processes now I am going to explain you from this pressure volume PV curve and temperature entropy TS curve that how this auto cycle takes place so the first one is 0 to 1 the process 0 to 1 is known as the intake process this is the intake process in which fuel air mixture enters into the cylinder the process 1 to 2 is known as the adiabatic compression process this compression process is an adiabatic process as you can see I have written PV to the power gamma is equal to constant from 1 to 2 then let's come from 2 to 3 the 2 to 3 process is the heat addition or commonly known as combustion process this process as you can see the volume remains constant hence this process is an isochoric process isochoric process now let us see the process 3 to 4 as you can see the 3 to 4 is the opposite from 1 to 2 hence it is also an adiabatic process and this process is known as the expansion process and this is an adiabatic process the process 4 to 5 after that is also an isochoric process and this process is known as the blow off process the blow off process and this is also an isochoric process the process 5 to 0 which is the exact opposite of 0 to 1 process is known as the exhaust process so friends as we have all seen the processes that are undergone by the auto cycle now from the exam point of view let me tell you some important expressions that is of internal energy work done and heat so from the process 1 to 2 that is the compression process which is the adiabatic one we can see del u will be equal to cv into t2 minus t1 also the work done in this process will be the negative of del u since in adiabatic process the value of q is 0 and we all know that dq is equal to du plus dw so if we apply dq equal to 0 we get dw is equal to minus of del u which is equal to if we put the negative sign here then it becomes cv into t1 minus t2 and as I have already said that this process is a diabetic process hence the value of Q will be 0 now let us go to the process 2 to 3 that is the combustion process here it is an isochoric process so here the value of del u will be cv into t3 minus t2 and 
since it is an isochoric process hence the work done that will be calculated from the graph will be zero as we have all seen that the volume doesn't change and hence it is an isochoric process so the value of work done will be zero here and the value of q will be cv into t3 minus t2 now the next process is the process 3 to 4 that is the expansion process which again is an adiabatic process hence the value of del u will be cv into t4 minus t3 and similarly the value of w will be cv into t3 minus t4 as because i have already says that here the value of q will be zero since it is an adiabatic process no heat addition takes place and hence the value of D w will be negative of del u hence the value of w here will be negative of del u hence it will be cv into t3 minus t4 so the value of q will be zero again now the last process is the 4 to 1 process that is i have written here as 4 to 5 as i have indicated in the diagram it is the blow off process or it is also an isochoric process so first of all we make the w zero again as it is an isochoric process the volume doesn't change so the value of du, du or del u will be cv into t1 minus t4 as we can see t5 is equal to t1 from the graph so the value of q will be cv into t1 minus t4 so these expressions are very important from exam point of view now we have come to the end of auto cycle derivations and processes and we will go further into the derivation of efficiency of an auto cycle.